I'm going to explain one of the functions of three of the modifier keys. Understanding these functions will greatly speed up your workflow. First of all, let's talk about the Alt key on a Mac, which is the Start key on a PC. Now, I basically call this key the All key. And the reason for this is because if you hold down this key, then anything you do to one track, the same thing will happen to all of the tracks within your project. That goes for soloing, muting, record enabling, resizing tracks. It goes for changing the view, changing inputs, outputs, and so forth. Now I want to talk about shift, which I call the selected key. But first I want to explain a little bit about making selections in Pro Tools. If I wanted to select tracks one through seven, then I'd want to first click on track one and then hold down shift and click on track seven. And you can see that it selects all tracks in between. Now, if I want to add or take away from the selection, then I can hold down command on a Mac, which is control on a PC. And any track I click on is now added to or taken away from the current selection that I have. Now, the reason why I explain that is because if you use the shift key, the selected key, in conjunction with the all key, then anything you do to one of the tracks will happen to all of the selected tracks. And again, the same parameters apply to that. Now, command is what I call the sequential key. And the reason why I do that, let's say in this project that I want to record eight separate inputs. And instead of going track by track selecting the inputs, if I know I want them to be inputs one through eight, then I can hold down, then what I can do is I can select tracks one through eight, and I can hold down Option, Shift, and Command on a Mac, and that would be Start, Shift, and Control on a PC. And then if I click on the input of the first selected track and choose input one, you can see sequentially now all of the inputs have changed.